Welcome everyone. We're on May 1957 and we have a, uh, I think quite a fun cover. Obviously this is the the Playboy um, going on his travels. This is kind of a travel issue. So we have a few articles on various places uh, in the world. So uh, starts off as normal. Obviously you're aware of the huge amounts of adverts that are now flowing into the magazine. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you here so you can see a little bit more. Um, Playboy After Hours, uh, more adverts, we have some poster adverts coming in, um, all the usual things that you've seen in previous issues. We start off with um, International Date Book as well, um, and this, you know, you have quite a few pages in before you even get to the contents on this one. Master of the Revels, um, this is just um, a fictional piece uh, about um, starlets um, in uh, Hollywood, I believe. Um, so this start it's based around kind of um, a lot of advertising and uh, that kind of thing. So Hollywood in 1938. Um, so good story to have a read through, um, but not one that I found particularly interesting, but worth looking. Got Jack Cole, a um, bit more of a subtle cartoon on this one. She's sort of laying on the bed, sucking her thumb. Um, not sure the kind of meaning behind this one, but if you know, please post uh, or comment. We have the um this article is pictorial actually this one this is love letters uh, from peach's page uh, so it's various uh, letters that she sent in uh, different pictures of her uh, so something quite sort of silly but feels like a bit of a page filler to be honest uh, another cartoon here um and this is uh, it's like this with tv um and this article is about how uh, TV at this particular time hasn't seen the kind of sexual content that you've seen elsewhere or even the use of sexuality to, to market things. I think TV is still very conservative at this point. Um, so it's not like uh, the sort of magazines, obviously it mentions radio in here, but radio is very hard to market with kind of images that are sexy or perceived to be sexy. So it's just talking here about when is it going to appear on TV? Um, how long until these things starts filtering through into uh, on air as such? Um, so yeah, we have that. And again, this is in every Playboy issue, we're getting more and more focused on kind of censorship, which is obviously a big part of what Playboy fought. Got cartoonist Silverstein, who you've seen in the magazine a lot. He returns to Tokyo to do some pictorials. Um, so he's got these kind of images that he's drawn here. I think there's a picture of him with his wife as well. Um, so quite straightforward there. Obviously, we've got um, more attire by Blake Rutherford. Uh, and this is about what to take when you go on your summer vacations, different suits, etc. And I doubt you would ever see this now um, in um, any other kind of a magazine or anything like that i mean what is the attire now for going away or on holiday uh certainly not this but um some interesting uh suits in there as well uh usual cartoons this is from uh i think it's amy miller i think this one i'm not too sure i'd have to double check that uh comes the dawn uh, so this is dawn richard our playmate of the month and it's a nice long pictorial for this particular playmate so some nice images in here again the, the photo quality quality is so much better um, nothing again too obscene at the moment just the usual images that we're kind of used to so we haven't seen the um, bottom half being nude yet or anything focused on that area um, so yeah long pictorial for this particular one so some nice photos there Playboy's party jokes and then we have uh, another cartoon here this is a nice style as well again slightly more pin up but not as realistic as we've seen elsewhere uh, Herbert Gold, not the nice guy. Uh, another story for you to read through. Uh, I read it, but nothing that I can really explain to you. Um, so it's just a, a general fictional story, which we're starting to see more of those fillers. And I think as we go along, we'll start to see the more um, interesting content coming through because Playboy has some really good articles in later issues, but we're just not there yet. I think it's still um, developing. You know, the magazine's only been out, what, four years almost. Um, so the knack of packing, we have this, how to fold your clothes up for your vacations. Um, this is about the Broadway, uh, it's a pictorial as well. So Broadway shows, uh, the people behind the scenes, um, Daisy May, and then we've got Moonbeam McSwine, uh, Appassionata Van Climax. Uh, so all the different characters in the, uh, in this particular show. 
the French are a funny race, just a, a satirical article here. Pictorial again. Um, this is Tiger Hunt in Cooch Bihar. Um, and this is in, I can't remember exactly where it said now. I'm struggling to remember, but it will be in here. Um, again, I have another cartoon, and this is the similar ones that you've seen before. This one returns again. This I remember there was an old um, picture of like, a, like an ogre in a previous issue, and I didn't know the, why it was in there. But this style is quite dark for some reason. It doesn't feel like a nice cartoon. Uh, Tale of the Terrible Teeth, and that's Ribald Classic. Um, almost, I believe, to the end. We're not too far away. So, again, the big record and CD advert, not CD, big record and vinyl adverts. Um, that's kind of it. Got the Griffin Micro Sheen. And again, the provocative images which you've seen before in this kind of see through Rain Mac. It says here, even rain can't hide that Mac Micro Sheen shine. Um, so yeah, that advert has always been quite provocative. It seems like someone's using um, the, ad the advice from the previous article, which you remember was in Playboy, about how to use sexuality to sell things. It feels like an experiment almost. Um, and then we have uh, the final pages and the usual Winston cigarettes at the back. So the last three issues have been quite short and sharp, some generally good cartoons, but they seem to be lacking in places. Um, the stories haven't been as good, but I think it's been made up for by the pictorials that they've had in here. So the the, the centerfold images and some of the cartoons have been very good. Um, but that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a good start to the week. See you later on.